the Thanks for showing this one thing for certain It's clear and it shows that Y'all ain't working Fuck the DJs Y'all ain't working In the streets, nigga Y'all ain't working State to state Y'all ain't working Fuck a replay Y'all ain't working Welcome to the Dirty DJ Show Yeah Hailing from our South Florida Command Post, you are tuned in to the Dirty DJ Show, bringing the latest news, entertainment, hip-hop, and beyond. You can catch us on True Radio, party station, hip-hop party station, man. We in here, man. Let's do this. Don't forget to download the app. Link in the description. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I know that's right, man. We in here, DJ Chico561 on IG. It's your boy, Buttermilk561 on IG, a.k.a. Let's go with Gandalf the Grey again today. <laughs> J Scratch, J Cast at nine twenty three IG. Yeah, yeah, we ain't here, man. Dirty DJs, man. Y'all locked in. It's our fourth show, man. It's our Ooh. fourth show. It's the fourth, new baby. year and our first one from the new Fuck. year, twenty twenty one. We ain't here, oh, man. Yeah. Dirty cheers, DJs, cheers, man. That, man. Cheers, 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 fellas. To many more, to many more shows, man. To keep it going, to keep the the po positivity going, to keep keep it. Keep it running, man. You know, listen. I just to tell them what happened. Man. I just had a birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Chico! Birthday, Chico! Let's go! One more in the real shots. Y'all want to do shots? Shots. Do the shots. We doing we doing Tito's Let's today. Do, Tito's. Tito's. Tito's vodka. Great vodka. Hit the shots. Oh yeah, Tito's. Shout out Tito's, man. They make a a, a fantastic vodka. I'm pretty sure they're in Florida, aren't they? Uh, are, they, are they in Florida? Or in mm, Texas or something? Oh, uh, Texas. Texas. Yeah, Texas. Yeah, Texas. Texas. Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas. Texas, yeah. Okay. Uh, they make a fine product, that's for sure. They do. They make a great vodka. Nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. uh, Mason's cup. You want one? So, yeah. I'll take some. Oh, uh, oh, oh. You got me already? Uh, all right. Uh, that makes, go ahead, mate. I feel like we're doing, uh, remember Swish back in the day? Oh, it's cool. Where you had to walk up and That's they scored in your cup. Oh, yeah, 80s babies, man. Come on. You guys don't know about Swish. What the hell? Yeah, you never seen the Swish. <laughs> you didn't do the Swish back in the day. You didn't, you didn't do Once nothing. Again, thank you, Tito, for the vodka. Shout out to you. We got a cheers on this one, too. This, this right, goes to Chico's birthday, birthday Chico. Man. All right, all right. Let's yeah, go. Lazy Eye. I'm going to talk with Lazy Eye behind the camera. Behind the camera. Behind the camera. Let's, behind the camera. Do Let's do it, man. Dirty DJ show, man. Let's go. Oh, that's Ooh. good. It tastes good. Nice little chaser. That's that good burn. Mm -hmm. Woo. Shout out to Blueski. Shout out to oh, Slim. Shout out to AJ. Here, AJ. Shout out to the crew that ain't here, man. You know, sometimes they can't make it, man. But we're going to keep it rocking, man. We're going to keep it loaded. Um, shout out to all the artists that have been hitting up us up on, on the inbox, man. Telling us um, they, um, mm -hmm. they want to get on uh, on the interview and get interviews and this and that. That's all coming in due time, man. We got to hit these subscribers up. We got to hit this. We got to hit our likes. We got to hit our views up. We want to bring it to where we got the audience for you guys first. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So we don't yeah. want to... Uh, we see a lot of people... I, uh, it's like a thing now for people to do podcasts. We felt Everybody. that we really have an avenue to do it. We have we have something that I think people would, would like to see. And so uh, we just wanted to, to, to introduce our personality so you guys get used to us. And then we're, we're definitely going to bring people on. We don't want to make it... Um, we want to make it complimentary where it's not, if you're coming on to our show, it helps you out as well as it helps us out. Yep. Um, so, you know, and we just started. So, you know, the number, hey, our subscribers keep going up. Shout out to everybody subscribing. Yeah. Way, and our subscribe. numbers keep, keep going up and, and our numbers keep going up. You know, the viewers keep going up, man. And just the, the more contact we come in, you know, the, the, the more I'm going to bring y'all in. We're going to come in, we're going to interview y'all. We're going to get y'all music heard. You know, right now we, we, we're doing, we're doing the, the podcast, you know, due to the COVID, you know, but we're going to start getting into these streets, man. You know, little by little. Get back. Oh, yeah. Oh, let them know. Oh, we're going to get into that at the end of the show. What upcoming. We got a lot of street stuff coming so uh, jam-packed all right events um, coming up everything I oh yeah wanna, real quick we got some edibles oh yeah let's uh, let's let them know what we got today so we got a nice little chocolate edibles and cookies and cream very nice that type good. uh we're gonna try a couple of these out to see how it works out we got gummies Nice right. little five milligrams of gummy. Y'all, y'all see the pictures when you know when they come up and this and that. Y'all can't see them right yeah, now. Y'all, the live, you're not gonna see it, but yeah, when, we, live, when we post it, it post we got video. We'll show you pictures. And then we got nerds on the string. This will be interesting, everybody. So we got, we got some nice stuff. This is a hundred milligrams. That's I'm which is a lot. It's it's you a know lot. <laughs> how that works, man. It's gonna be fun. So I'm gonna say, guys, we'll start off with some, some gummy. I'll, I'll take, I'll take a piece I'll of whatever you got gummy. going on, man. We'll take one for for buttermilk here. 
I will put my hand, oh, nice, and I got a ruby red with a little yellow piece of another one. I'll take that. <laughs> and it's in a little, I, I don't know if you got this, Marv. This is beautiful. It's in a little weed plant weed form. Weed plant forms. This, this is, this this is, is what I love my boy's product. This is like one this. of my good friends, and he makes this. It's an amazing product. Oh, thumbs up. Nice and, oh. nice and good. Tastes like candy. <laughs> All day. All day. I don't care. I haven't even tasted it. It's a no. slight hit at the end. Extremely slight. Very slight hit. It end. smells fruity over here, man. <laughs> oh, it ain't just smelling yeah. fruity. Uh, shout out to everybody that eats Nose edibles. Dreams. Y'all in the house. Shout out to everybody yeah. that be popping on edibles. Oh, man, them things will sneak <laughs> up on you. Mace. Hey, I got a quick, I got a quick oh. story. While, oh, my bad. While y'all passing oh. edibles and shit, I got a quick story, man. I remember one time, man, Lazy Eye, Lazy Eye gave me some uh, fruit roll-up, a fruit roll-up edible, man. One time he was like, hey, man, here, try this, man. And me, you know, I don't know what it was, this and that. And I'm like, ooh, fruit roll-up, man. I haven't had these since I was a little kid. I took a whole string of fruit roll-up like this. I put that shit in my mouth. Bro, I swear to God, 30 minutes, an hour later, man, I'm like, no, stuck to the uh, chair. You know, I couldn't fucking move, bro. You know what it's like? Remember, remember the Wolf of Wall Street? Yes. When they were, uh, what did they take? Quaaludes or Quaaludes. something? Quaaludes. Quaaludes. And they were like on the treadmill and they're like, it's not working. And they're just taking And they just started popping them. <laughs> and then like three hours later, he, when he was driving his Ferrari around or something, and he thinks he gets home perfectly fine. But and no. then the police show up. And they're like, uh, he every sir. Every box, every bush, every <laughs> The Ferrari car, was destroyed. Oh. Absolutely destroyed. Absolutely. That was classic. That was good stuff. That was actually a good movie too, by the way. Mm -hmm. Somewhat based on a true story. Yeah. Um, I watched his actual story. That was, was a good movie, though. All right, how was everybody's New Year's? New Year's, Year's was fantastic. Yeah. When what do you stop saying Happy New Year's? Oh, uh, I'd say like today. today <laughs> like, we we should say it today. So we will probably <laughs> like what? Last week. Like today. I right? had like four people that texted me during New Year's that I missed, and yeah, I saw yeah. it today. I'm like, yeah. oh, hey, yeah, Happy, happy New Year. Bro, I mean, that's a day or two later. My inbox was going nuts, bro. It just, like, I was live. I was building a computer. I saw that. Like, yeah, I was online. Yeah, yeah, I was live. That was just for work. I was just doing that, you know, but I, I think that's cool. I'm going to do more. I got one I'm going to build for my nephews, Check which is going to be man. much better. Very fun. Very, so, very informative. And I, I was telling you guys, while I was doing it, I'm going to have better, I'm going to have a setup where you can actually see it, like, the, the camera angles where I'm not, like, holding it and getting it against <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, right now, so yeah. it's working but hours. you can hear during the thing that like, you hear the the Wookie sound. And that was my, my people just hitting me up. That's like my text Strong. notification. I'm sorry, I'm a Star Wars nerd. A bit. Love Star Wars. The first three. Uh, yeah, episode that, one. I, uh, I don't know. After that, they get prequels yeah. or whatever. Or crazy. Oh, well, this is what. Well, what are you burning on? Uh, I actually got a concoction of different buds in here from. My local, I my saw local it. street pharmacist, and also from like dispensaries and stuff. Like that. So <laughs> I will, I will say, um, Doctor Warshowitz there uh, is <laughs> doing a good job because it is, it is, it was pretty nice. It looked very good, right? It looks nice. Now I will say that Mason's what I got, got here, fire. white buffalo. Mason's got some fire. Trimmed and cured a little bit better, but this is a sativa, so it's more of a a, a body. Right. So it doesn't really get you, you know, like head highs. Head, yeah. Much. So, so I don't, and that's the problem uh, when you go to Mister uh, Doctor Warshowitz. <laughs> is you don't know what you're getting. You don't know if it's a sativa because they look the same. They look exactly if you're same. not, you know, yeah. you but they like, both. I mean, these days the stuff that's coming out is these guys are they they're, they're starting to know they're what getting they're doing so these days. creative out there with making new strands, mixing strands. It's hybrids. It's well, I mean, the only thing is that we're we're benefiting from it. Because Absolutely. at the end of the day, we're the one getting the product, so we're enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Well, to that end, but I, I'm always on the hunt for like I, I like I examine everything. I, I look at if they trimmed it right, if they, you know what I'm saying, like what it looks. Is it and so you know, damn, yeah, you're kind of at the when you go to Doctor Warshowitz, you're kind of you're kind of at the mercy of whatever you get. Doctor Warshowitz is whatever you're gonna get, but at least at the dispensary, like you're going, so you get to pick different strands. There's yeah, you can look, you, you can know, it's guaranteed, like they're they're. There's a and there's like a return policy. Even, yeah, there's a return policy. Oh, it's crazy. With all that being said, Happy New Year. Definitely Happy Birthday, Chico. It's yeah, man. Chico that's what's mainly about. Let's happy New Year. I'll smoke. Birthday, Chico. I drank. We're, we're going to smoke for Chico. I'll smoke. I drank. <laughs> Which is why, if you, if you listen to a story about the edibles, 
to make a lot more sense now. Because <laughs> of the smokes, and all of a sudden, he's just eating a whole edible, and that's what... Eat a, a whole airhead, and all of a sudden, things things get crazy. Yeah. Remember the airheads? Can you get airheads? I think those are, right. those are I think they should be able to yeah, get yeah. some. Yeah, you can still get those. Like, like pretty much make Sam's everything. Sam's and Costco's, like, you know, but not the edible kind, but... Well, that's what I want. Uh, I meant the, the, the edible kind, and the, the crazy part is they're... Uh, the labeling on them, like nerds, is actually like yeah. it's. You'll see it. They'll it'll be nerds the packaging company, with a UPC code yeah. on. The, the companies are not getting with all these dispensaries. They're getting on board. They're smart. It's, it's fantastic. You might as well. It's an untapped market. You might as well jump in now. Well, mm. it, a lot of people don't know this. Like uh, Fujifilm is no longer in business now because they said, "Oh, the digital camera market. Oh, that's never." Nobody's gonna go digital. Who's gonna do that? And guess what happened? Boom! Out of business. You knows. gotta innovate. So I commend these companies for innovating because whether you like it or not, I now I have gripes with with the age that that you should you should use it, uh, just like alcohol. I think there should be regulations like that. Uh, oh, yeah. But people are gonna use it, and a vast amount of people are gonna use it. it if you don't see that business opportunity, I don't know what to tell you. It actually reminds me of. At one point, Blockbuster actually had the opportunity to buy mm -hmm. Netflix. Blockbuster, yep. They could have bought Netflix. Why didn't they go like Redbox or something? You know, they, what I mean? they, they, they could have easily. They could have bought either company, and they just didn't see the value in it. They're like, no, and now where's Blockbuster? We, we got the, we got the market on this, and at the time when they were thinking this, they had the market share. Correct. But you know whose fault it is is the CEOs of the companies. They were not. They didn't have. Like you said, they're not the innovative. forethought they're not to see. Innovative. Yeah. They were stuck. They were probably older. I don't know who was only probably some older time, heads, yeah. but I guarantee they were probably older. So they didn't see the know. vision. Dude. There we go. Gotta stay, gotta stay fresh, man. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh man, some sad news to report, gentlemen. A what I call underground legend passed away. Unfortunately, it was villain, Mr. MF Doom. I'm sure if you guys are very familiar with him or not, Mace and I. Oh, we did. We love MF Doom. That's with him for a long time. He's really. Known in the 2000s, not in today's, you know, 2020 era, but man, Mace, what? Uh, well, I can chime in um, now. Yeah, I, so. I I didn't know this. Though. They they actually had, uh, originally they were in a group, and he showed his face in the group. Really? He never really shows his face. That's and uh, the group was called KMD. You can look them up. They're from KMD. the early 90s. And wow. Third Base. You remember Third Base? Third Base, He yeah. discovered him. Wow. Uh, who else did he? Do? Third base. People don't realize how much Sleep behind on. the yeah. scenes third okay. base did. Who he discovered so much talent. But I digress on that. But uh, when he had his, when when Doom had his first show when he came out as MF Doom, he didn't use the mask yet. What he did was, which is brilliant, he, it was like a small venue, and he had like a hundred people come on stage, and they all had mics. So, you know so nobody artist. knew who he was. Nice. And it was nice. a hit. It was a hit. And then he got the mask. Now there's a there's an interesting story with the mask you were telling me about. What what is the you okay. see it? You gotta check it out. So he he has okay. He's obviously if, if you know MF, MF Doom, he's he's into uh, like comics and stuff like that, Marvel, DC, all that. And he was also Where's he from? Great he's from New York. Oh he's he's, 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 he's born, born in London. Born in London. But yeah, you know, he grew up I don't know. I don't know when he came. He had to be pretty young when he came. Yeah, to New York. he grew up in New York, but he was born. He's from London. So he's so, like so he's like a nineties or eighties. He yeah, ninety one. I believe KMD started. was formed. So he was rapping for a minute. For a while. Most nef, most uh, most deaf knew who he was. Correct. Um, and most that's why he did the, the dedication. You were telling me he did the dedication. Correct. He did a tribute form. video to him. So you guys check that out. It's a pretty good video. So he uh, people saw his talent, but the thing was the way he made his music, it literally sounded like he was recording on like cassette tapes, like reel to reel almost. Like it, it was so <laughs> lo fi. And it was really just well. but he create he like made that his sound. So you know, nobody can can fault him. And then it like the sound sort of off put you at first, but if you listen to what he's saying, and it's not even the most you know, thought worthy lyrics, but he'll just say something like noodles or oodles or noodles. You know what I'm saying? It just, <laughs> I don't know, bro. It just like, it just got well, you. And it was so, it was original, you know? And he's got intricate wordplay. Like, yeah. That's thing he's got. He's, he's yeah, it's not, good. it's not the most complex, but the way he puts it together, it's like, you could tell it's like free flowing. It's natural to him. Mm -hmm. It's like, you, it feels genuine, you know? Yeah. Absolutely. And to, to get back to the mask, oh, uh, oops. 
to get back to the mask, um, it's actually a gladiator mask. If you look up the movie Gladiator, great movie. it's the mask. Russell it's Crow. The, the, yeah, Russell Crowe. And they took the fr- the 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 flare. Uh, what do they call it? Uh, plume off the top. The plume, correct. So I most people would think it's like a uh, Iron Man mask or something like that. Um, it's a very unique mask. But it's yeah, it's, it's from uh, Gladiator. It's from old Gladiator mask. mask from Roman times. <clears throat> and he never took it off. After, after you know. Yeah. Once you. But if you look up KMD, you look up KMD, you'll see his face. You'll you'll see what he looks like. Uh, also. Uh, so with that, we don't know the cause of death, correct? correct? Sorry. So he was 49 years old. His wife posted on IG recently that he died back in October. I think he said 31st. I think it was Halloween. Uh, unfortunately, no cause of death was released yet. But, you know, all right. Yeah, I would assume. And, and also, I would think um, the family would, would was trying to keep it, you know, under wraps. Correct, they didn't, correct, they didn't want a lot of hoopla, uh, which I respect that because, you know, when people die... And people just, you know, I mentioned because I genuinely want to know, um, you know, why did he die? You know, and, you know, you're interested because, hey, we're all alive, and you see somebody you follow die, like, hey, what can I learn from that? You know, That's but right. unfortunately, a lot of people just want to find hype in it. They want to exploit it. You know, so Exploited I can understand the why they they held it back. You know? People want their 15 minutes mm-hmm. off of somebody else's, like a timely death. And they didn't say it was. It was like. Yeah, like an overdose or something. You know what I'm saying? Like who knows could, what it, it is. It, so. Then they would that would who would take that off the rails? You know, right, and, and just right. you know, and so I I totally get it. But I'm not saying I would think it's an overdose. I, there was no evidence to me that we have no no uh, aside from uh, no reason drinking and smoking. Anything. I don't I don't. I think she did it very classy by doing that. I I respect that. You know, honestly, I don't see anything wrong with it. So, but we'll just see see what they say. You know, so RIP, keep an eye on that. R.I.P. to the legend, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Man, um, let's take a quick break, man. Shout out to everybody on the live checking in, man. We got some Yo, check-ins, man. Got, uh, got, oh, what's up? Man, Houston, you know, oh, the whole, Houston, what's up, Houston? The whole Zio up? Entertainment checking Zio in. Entertainment. Uh, the legend, man, the, the, the legend, the Slack Pack legend, man, uh, Uncle Head, man, oh, checking man. in. Checking in, man. Yeah, y'all, y'all share that live, man. Let people know, man. We trying to, you know, keep this thing going, man. Shout out to all y'all. What's up? What's next? Big shout out, Uncle Head, man. Oh, man, this one's uh, another... Has a happy ending, luckily, but it started off a couple days ago. Dr. Dre had a brain aneurysm. That's what was posted. Mm-hmm. So, brain aneurysms are not not good at all. It's it's pretty bad. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, I was still, listen when I got that message, bro. I was like, "What the exactly. hell?" We actually received the message from Chico. Yeah, I was like, in our group and well, you- we were all stunned." Definitely explain, explain. That's like that's like a blood clot in the brain, right? Correct. S- the blood clot in the brain. Mm-hmm. Um, that uh, can burst. Right? Ruptures, could rupture. Right? Yeah, really. If it ruptures, it's dangerous. Mm. Extremely dangerous. dangerous. Extremely dangerous because there's an overflow. Well, first of all, you're bleeding from your brain, so that's never good. So there's an mm-hmm. overflow of fluid between your brain and your skull, and unfortunately, some of the procedures that has to be done. The last one I can remember is they actually drill a hole in your skull to relieve some of that pressure. And once it ruptures, fatality rate skyrockets. So luckily, Dr. Dre posted an IG yesterday that he's doing fine. He's yeah. recovering, he's stable. No, yeah. So yeah. And that was quick, man. Faster <laughs> well, no, it's, it's like once they can get on it, if it, that's one thing. And here in America, we have one of the best as far as emergency care. If there's like you, your arm is chopped off and they're like, we got to stick your arm back on. You want to be here where that's going on, like it, you know what I'm saying. So for once they get, if they problem. can get to the problem, they it's bro. Right. Most people, you can see people they have strokes two days later. They're straight, like like you did. You had a stroke, you know. I see it all the time, you know, with, with a lot of the older folks I come in contact with. But uh, this touches my heart though because yeah. I, um, I I don't know if anybody out there. I know some people do, but black masks. He Got was him. like, that's where I started one. He was the one that inspired me to start doing everything. He made me do my first mixtape in high school. Remember that? Yeah. The girls cast some music. And girls cast bro, music. it was pop that's, popping. Like it was So that's there's another important thing here for everybody to know. Buttermup and I have been known each other since high school. 
least we can go further than that. But third grade, bro. Third grade. Third grade. You know, Miss you know. Alexander, remember that? Yeah. <laughs> I forgot her name. I forgot her name. <laughs> before that, she got married. <laughs> she did. Excuse me. Shout out to Miss Alexander. But uh, Buttermilk, you have an interesting story with Black Mass because yeah, that directly relates to this. Because he had a brain aneurysm. Same thing in the studio. He. He unfortunately passed right there in the booth. In the booth. And you uh, was there? I wasn't there. Oh, oh, I believe oh. Goldfinger was there. Goldfinger let me know. Yeah. It, it shot at Goldfinger. Yeah. Um, but that was, that was I believe he was there. But don't don't quote me on that. But that's basically what happened to him. And that that in that shows you again, it's it happened in an instant, man. You got anybody so did. little time yeah. to to brain aneurysm. And sometimes you got no time. Depending exactly. on the severity of the situation, like a brain aneurysm, is I'm interested to know what are so typical causes, but I can almost guess, and I, I stress this to people, try to get a solid like six eight to eight hours, hours of sleep, sleep. sleep and don't do that cat nap stuff, and you know, I'm telling you, because Black Mass, and I can bet Dre is the same way, you don't sleep, you just work and work and work. Always in the studio, and always sleeping in something. Team, that's, Never that happened. was a contributing factor Absolutely. to it. Remember your brain. So you gotta only, take a minute. Can only do so much. Your brain needs to reset. Needs to kind of, you know, rebuild itself, so to speak. It, it and literally the only time it does is when it sleeps. But it's still working crazy when you're sleeping. It's gotta tell your heart to keep pumping, your your lungs to keep breathing. You know, like it's it goes, still working. It goes all the time. into a completely different mode. Correct. Literally, like it, but, you're, there's two parts of your nervous system. Absolutely. One you can control mentally, and then the one you can't. And then both of them are kind of running like the, all the time. All the time. Mm -hmm. When you sleep, days. different parts of it get activated, mm -hmm. and or, you know, and it's mind refreshing. It's there. It's it's so deep, man. I'm, sleep is one of the most important things you can do. Sleep so free game again. You got free game again. <laughs> but God bless them, man. Yeah, I'm yeah, telling yeah. you, and I'm I'm just saying that I think I suspect. I'm not saying I'm right. But I suspect that sleep hustle, keep going. Well, that's how, that's how they got to had, it right? had some sort of contributing factor to it, you know. So that's all. That's all. A little, a little side Ten, I don't care how hard you're working, man. Make sure you get some good sleep. That's that's Absolutely. one key thing, you know. One hundred percent. Right. So, a little that's... side note with Dr. Dre. Uh, today, in Mark's anniversary, when he uh, founded Beats by Dre back in two thousand and six. Okay. A little, a little, a little, a little five which was, year. Which was a, a revolutionary. Oh yeah, revolutionary. everybody, everybody. And now you beats. got the Raycons. You got yeah. you know everybody. You know. Yeah, the Air. Which I heard the Raycons a good product. I'm not shitting on the Raycon at all. So a side note, also in 2014, Apple bought Beats by Dre, mm. and they paid three billion dollars with a B, billion dollars for it, and Dre made about seven hundred million. He came out with seven, which Forbes called. The out of most, three bill? The most of well, artists, that means other people. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the most of musicians ever made in history in one day. It's one one deal. One little year, one little sell. 700 million. So shout out to Dre. So that means that, that includes overall sales, lifetime sales. That uh every that's insane. Well, that's a lot of money. Like even over 30 years. One transaction, 700 million? Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, no. Because you think about it, who who would be one of the most like person to make the most money over the years now in music as far as uh, residuals but mainly focusing on just which is trackable is is plays so saying. somebody like say mariah carey who you know i would say a, a lot of stations Absolutely. continually play her stuff her christmas know, christmas she's song. a blast dude she's uh, she's on blast on christmas Everybody on the whole station her song and so her video on christmas every year every year dog. Without it's, fail, that's part of Christmas now. Yeah, it's like, so how many plays would it take to add up to 700 billion <laughs> is the question. Yeah. You know? So that would take probably, what, 400 years or something? I don't know. So I would I would, I would, would assume that's, that's correct, crazy. that so, they got to be right, 700 billion, one deal. Yeah. Yeah. So, and shout out to Drake, man. That's interesting, man. That's cool. Shout out to Drake. Thank God you're home, man. We, we wish you a speedy recovery, brother. Definitely didn't want to lose a legend like yeah, that, man. man. Yeah, yeah. Get some sleep, Drake. And R.I.P. Black Mass, man. Definitely was a big yeah, influence, Black, man. Black Mass. Shout out to the whole count, the Coleman family, man. Platinum, Platinum City Platinum Entertainment. Platinum, Platinum City Entertainment, oh man. Got to, Platinum man. City What's next, boys? What we got? What else we got? 
Uh, well, we do got some new music. It's been kind of uh, dreary out there. Um, Uncle Murder drop, right? Yeah, as far as uh, uh, yeah, Uncle Murder is wrap up 2020. Oh yeah, we just, you know, every year you look for that wrap up, whatever year it is from Uncle Murder, because he, he went on everything. He went 13 minutes. 13 minutes, but you're absolutely right. This year though, he did a little bit different in the sense that he he touched a little more on his personal life. So he spoke about his family. Uh, deals gone wrong, mm-hmm. COVID and how it affected him and everything else. So it's it's a little bit different this year than he normally does because I guess this year would you know affected us all a little bit differently. Twenty twenty yeah, it affected twenty twenty was nuts. Yeah. I mean I can't remember the last time we had a year like that where it's never happened. Things shut down, not at least in our lifetime. So no, it's remember. never happened like this in history, like this, never to this extent. Yeah, yeah, never. Yeah. This is history, bro. We are living. History right now. People don't realize that right now. Shout out to Jimmy checking in, man. Jimmy. One time with Jimmy, Uncle Jimmy, man. Them Dolphins, man. <laughs> Shout out to Dolphins. We All right, Jimmy, line. Jimmy, yeah, Jimmy checking in Shout on the live. Shout out Jimmy. Yeah, yeah. All right, so. What else uh, we got, dog? Uh, Uncle Murder, man. He dropped that shit, man. I killed it. He killed it, man. Most definitely, well, man. He, to me, bro, Uncle Murder. Man, come on, man. But you gotta be a top four, top four. Man. <laughs> I used to, hey, man, I ain't gonna get into it, man. You bump that next to the wrong person, they're getting their feelings. What we got in sports, uh, Jay Scratch? Let's see, we got a couple things actually. Uh, yeah. First one is Kyrie Irving, point guard for the Nets. Yeah, what's up with him? He has an uh, institution or a family foundation called Kai, K I I. Shout out to them and Kyrie. Yeah. And he was generous and awesome enough to. Pay off the full tuition, college tuition, to nine students at Lincoln University. And Positive you know shit. All right, pay it forward. Going. I like it. Positive yeah. shit. You don't have to okay. worry about tuition anymore. Yeah. Pay, pay it forward, man. Good stuff. Good shit, man. Shout out to uh, Ivory, man. Kai yeah. Ivory. And I, I, I don't know. I'm just throwing this out there. Yeah. K A I. I would almost bet his middle initial. Start there. His middle name starts with A. Hey, correct. I would put correct. money on that. Correct. I was a betting man. I'm just saying. That's the way I go. Also, uh, I, I didn't look into it. I it, just, it hasn't happened yet, but recently Adidas is looking to offload Reebok. He's a shoe company. So it's mm-hmm. a little bit different from what we normally talk about. But Master P, that's right. No Limit Soldier. <laughs> Master oh, yeah, P, yeah, yeah. he's what, 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 Miller, yeah. Him and Good a former basketball player, Baron Davis, are looking to buy. Reebok, $2.4 billion. The whole yeah. Reebok? The whole company. Oh, and man. The first time ever would be like a black-owned like shoe company like that with that kind of recognition and name. Yeah. So, and then with athletes and everything. So, look out for that. It hasn't happened yet, but, you know, that'd be interesting to see if Master P and Baron Davis can pull it off. $2.4 billion? Correct. <laughs> all right, so that okay, all right. Uh, That's a lot. So they gotta be leveraging, dude. That's yeah. a lot. They, they have groups with them, but you know, we'll so see what happens. We'll keep be, you posted. Yeah, but I, I'm interested to that. see. But that'd be awesome. You know, I'm all for that. Own, own the business, black home. First time, great. Right. So, so let's see if yeah. it happens. That'd be good, positive for 2021. Let's go. So yeah, uh, and I would uh, honestly, uh, Johan, we should get into this. Uh, we should get uh, the. Dealings with how the jerseys were switching back and forth between, you know, the deals, the contracts with NBA and with the, the NFL, how they were switching back and forth. You know, they would they would switch contracts. That's a big. Absolutely. That's a big that thing to that is massive. We will definitely. So I would like to talk about that later. You know, definitely like, get back to you. Yeah, you know, definitely gonna get back to you on that. Definitely gonna, definitely gonna get back to y'all on that, man. Um, we gonna cut to a commercial break here. Uh, with, Ooh, you know what we gotta do. We gotta take some more gummies, y'all. That's what <laughs> we're doing. Yeah. We gotta continue taking some more. Apples. Oh shit! Thanks. I'll let you pick out your color, brother. Oh okay. man! Just, yeah, y'all gonna see that shit pretty soon, oh, man. man. Y'all gonna see that. I see it. I'm just gonna. Go ahead. Here one comes out. Right. And what else, man? What we got? What got next in the news? All right. Well, we gotta cover this. I, uh, I think it's pretty important. Uh, so. Today is January 6th, a very important time, and like I said, we're living in history, unprecedented times. Uh, so Vice President Pence he was supposed to face a decision where basically he could challenge the, the, the or force like an audit, which would delay Trump's 
you know, Biden getting it yeah. for like 10 days. So oh, it could, he could have done that. <laughs> now, he declined to do it, and then apparently there was some sort of people that breached the Capitol Correct. building, and Correct. then there Correct. was I mean, some sort of standoff. It's a little now, bit crazy. There's some rioters, basically. This Over is, a thousand people. This is crazy. Like, I didn't, I, I knew they were going to have like a Trump rally, and I knew millions of people were going to show up. But typically at the Trump rallies, like, you know, there's not, nothing ever happens. They come and they, they, ah, America, and then nothing happens, you know? Unfortunately, but in this there situation. could be now. Sometimes it'd be like clashes with Antifa or something like that, you know. But this, as far as somebody scaling a wall, which is what I saw, they use barricades or something. Yeah, scale the wall. They went through. This is crazy. Like I, I don't know. So I think it's important to mention that. I thought it was just going to be VP Pence turned it down, Correct. said he's not going to do any, you know, just where I'm, I'm not going to challenge this, which I expected, uh, and. Uh, that would be it. They would come and say, well, oh, it sucks. Why didn't you challenge? And then everybody go home. You know, Unfortunately, but, they weren't happy that way. So, so yeah. And, and again, let's wait for the information to come out, absolutely. too, because it, things we're living in a crazy world. So let's just see. And we're just letting you know what's happening. That's it. Pretty much. Pretty much. I mean, that's still it's important. It yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's, you know, that's crazy. But you... you I mean, yeah. uh, I, to me, that's that's insane. I didn't see that coming yeah, at all. Not, not today. And I'm pretty sharp on shit that's What's coming, you know. But nobody saw that coming. So that is woof. She goes. I still didn't get my stimulus check. You didn't get it? No. Nope. You? Jay Kwan got it. Jay Kwan. Got that. Jay Kwan. Got that. Kwan got it. Kwan got it. Hey, Kwan. 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 Somebody got it. Hey. Y'all got y'all still in this check, man. Y'all hit the like. Y'all hit the like button. Hit the heart button, man. Let me know, man. We still didn't get our shit. Well, you didn't get your shit. You got it? Oh, sure. I don't know. I don't control half the finances. It's different. I'm assuming anything is. Yeah, still waiting on everything. Damn. Hurry up, Biden or Trump, whatever. Whoever, goddamn it. Somebody send us something. Yeah. Um, you got some new artists, you said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got some new oh, music, yeah. man. Some new, new music, music, man. If y'all got, 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 got any new music, man, y'all y'all hit uh, the Dirty DJ's Gmail. The Dirty DJ's D-A, Dirty DJ's Gmail, man. Y'all submit them that, songs, man. Yeah, yeah, and uh, we'll, we'll go on on the show, man. We'll review you and stuff like that, man. You know, once I get, we get our contact and our viewers and our subscribers going, we'll definitely bring the artists first, coming first in. First and foremost, we're going to be looking for, for fire stuff. Like, yeah. We're actually going to yeah, listen yeah. to it. Yeah. And we're going to try to find that we, what we actually Absolutely. like, first of all. I've been then, watching. If yeah. we get to a certain point, then if you guys are sending us enough, we can we can go online, but you know what happens? People start getting clowned. You know what I'm saying? Like we're gonna be serious about it. So yeah. <laughs> hey, they, 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 they get clowned. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But send us the music to start. We're we're just on the hunt for what we actually. Dirty like. DJs at gmail dot com, man. Y'all send them, man. Uh, we're definitely gonna have Yo, sure. artists here and um and interviews and this and that and open up to the world and let the you know let the world know what Palm Beach talent got man definitely we're gonna try oh, to you know oh I got oh. some stuff coming about what's un some unsaid stuff in Palm Beach mm. I got some stuff coming stay yeah. tuned man well, stay, stay tuned man y'all subscribe to I'm the channel man the Dirty DJ show um, Dirty um, DJ. the Dirty DJ show on YouTube man um I've been um watching a couple people man um Reese Sosa man it's definitely a new cat out of uh. Out of uh, out of Palm Beach, man. Reese Sosa, y'all look him up, man. Reese underscore Sosa. Uh, we're definitely gonna have the link in the description, this and that, uh, on his music and shit like that. Shout out to Biz, man. Uh, Biz, 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 Biz just checked in on the live. Biz, Biz, what up, Biz? what's up? Man, he he he's definitely an artist from um from Palm Beach. Now resides in Atlanta, man. He, he moved to Atlanta and doing some good shit, and you know got his music and. And travel with it, and, and that's what he's supposed to do, man. Don't just stay in one spot, man. Shout out to Absolutely. Biz, man. Continue doing Shout what you're doing. Atlanta. And Atlanta, man. Atlanta, well, Atlanta's a hub, man. Shoo, a hub. I love Atlanta. It's a, a different hub. vibe in Atlanta, you, man. It's, it's, I'm not, I'm not shitting on Palm Beach, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. it's like they, they just been in, as a whole, the whole city has been in the game longer, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like artists that come out of there. It's it just kind of is naturally in a different direction, yeah. and um, but. 
It's still it's still a lot yeah. of cutthroat stuff going on there too, man. Shout yes. out to BBE checking in too, man. Tim, the CEO. Oh, yeah, Tim, what's up? Tim. He got he got a squad, man. You know what I'm saying? He got a squad that he's building together, man. We got the promo run. Y'all check out for that promo run coming soon too. Um soon. on the 16th, we'll be hitting Stewart all the way to Melbourne. We're gonna take the whole BBE team and we're gonna be flooding the streets, man. It's time to get back on these streets, man. Um Zola the artist, awesome, awesome R and B artist, man. Um, Y'all check her music out, man, on YouTube. Um, pretty much, um, that's it, man. And we, we, you know, well, well, that's what we got coming up, don't we? We got a MLK parade. parade. Oh yeah, yeah, the MLK parade. Um, that's that, January eighteenth. Yep. We'll, we'll be in Tampa. We'll be in Tampa. We'll be in Tampa. Woo, we'll we'll the streets fun. in Tampa, man. True Radio, sponsored by True Radio. We're gonna take True, True Radio. Radio. All our promos yeah, is sponsored by True Radio, man. So shout out to Fats, Dun Donna. Yeah, um, Donna, what's up, bro? Yeah, we'll be in Tampa, man. Tampa, MLK Parade, flooding the streets, man. That's all we got, man. Um, that's that's pretty man. much it, man. Dirty DJs on YouTube. Lazy Eye, Lazy Eye Media on YouTube. Lazy Eye. DJ Chico 561 on IG. JCast 923 on IG. At... Buttermilk five six one IG. Man, y'all can find y'all can find us everywhere, man. We we're definitely in the streets. We're definitely on the on the net us. on the net heavy, man. Y'all get y'all submit those songs, man. Submit the music, man. We review them here on the show, man. Uh, subscribe, y'all tell a friend. Share the share the share them. Subscribe. The more views, the more the more contact, the more subscribers. Comments. We're bringing y'all in. We're Email bringing, us music. We read every comment, so make sure. Subscribe button is free. You don't have to do anything. Just hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. One more shot before we leave. Absolutely. Oh, let's do it. I think the edibles are hitting me, bro. Yeah, let's do it. You starting to feel it? Mm. Yeah, bro. Unfortunately, Ooh. I'm trying I, to get I'm there. I'm rarely, I'm trying I to get rarely there. eat. Uh, you rarely eat what? The edibles. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. That's uh, that, that, that's cool. that uh. Neuron on the stream, remember, it's 100 milligrams, so oh, we're taking nice little chunks of that. Oh, shit. This is a big ass shot, too. Man. This, is, this is our first show of 2021. We're going to continue yeah. pushing. We're going to go. continue going. Y'all like, share. Y'all tell us what y'all think. Like, share. You know, let us know. Music. You know, reviews, all that, man. Dirty Every DJs. Day, we ain't here. Blue Ski, Slim, AJ, J Cap, J Rich, J Scratch. Shout out J Rich, too. J Rich is Yo. Buttermilk. Buttermilk, lazy eye yeah, fell. Yeah, we ain't here, man. Lazy eye. Let's, Let's go. go. Right here. Everybody out there. Uh -huh.